Welcome back to the survival vlogs. Look at the villagers walking around, man. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You want to know why? Well, partly because we got an apartment building. La -da! Yes, an apartment building here in the Minecraft village city for all our villagers. Purely built so that we can house more villagers within the city. Because it capitalizes on the mechanics to keep villagers alive, well, and thriving within our world. Look, check it out. When I was test building it, I was working on some of the mechanics. This is it. Look. Morning comes, they go downstairs, they go through, and they get to work. Nighttime comes in, right back up the spiral staircase. Oh, look at them. Look at them travel. It's so funny. And they go back to sleep. Housing a bunch of villagers, man, it's perfect. Now, I actually have to move the villagers over from our villager breeder. What we do is we set their trade and then have the correct workstation within the apartment interior. Like the smithing tables and the cooking thing. Thing. And so as you can see, we're not fully stocked up with villagers, but look at them all chilling, sleeping, doing their thing, man. But also, you know, we got some chilling over here in the, the penthouse area. This guy posted up. So it's just awesome, man, and adds more lifestyle into our village city. But along with that, we've been up to other things, like adding in more village librarians. Yes, we got the squad in, including Mendy, who's got that mending book for one book and one diamond. Not diamond. Emerald. But along with these additions came travesty. Yes, we got attacked. I made the mistake of not lighting up the roof. And in a flash instance, pillagers came in. We honestly handled them super well because what we did not want to do was trigger a raid because I hate raids. So we finessed and got them to execute their own flag guy. I mean, it was perfect. But unfortunately, they took out our original villager librarian. Wah, wah, wah absolutely heartbreaking but we got a new buddy back okay sting what's up sting i don't know why your name's sting oh because your sharpness five yeah we're geared protection four frost walker swiggy's got some sweeping edge for us channeling there once we get it infinity twice fire protection angels got feather falling and then we come to the best of all zam who comes in with power five flame Luck of the C3 and efficiency five. That's what we ended up with. I was like, oh my gosh. Zam is our homie. What is good, Zam? So yes, disaster, but the light levels are fixed and it's, you know, it's okay. And now it's time to do some awesome things. But wait, wait, you see right behind me? Oh, right there. Yes, we also put up another small building. Boom, I told you we'd add them in. This one is actually functioning as our diamond mine so that we have a diamond mine right here. I actually went into an abandoned mine shaft on accident while digging through this which is pretty awesome i have not explored it but i didn't die this time like uh in the past but so we'll have to do some exploring in there but uh but part of the reason we got the diamond mine was so that i could literally mine for cobblestone yeah not diamonds cobblestone because it's time to expand the wall for some projects we got coming up and we need that cobblestone you see right there for that so that's what we're gonna do right now yes we got some large projects and plans ahead i am very excited we're gonna keep them on the low key for now but you'll see them soon regardless we have this in place and i also wanted to add to round out this building over here because we needed it uh this farm yes we of course have our big large farm building but we also had a small farm generate in this village so we wanted to plug that into our village city and what i decided to do for this one was just make a small separate extension to the left and from here we can have our staircase and our beds in place for the villagers so that this all works with the composter right there birch stripped wood because we have plenty of oak stripped wood we have some accent details with the oak but you know i wanted to throw in another texture and it lines up nicely with the central building where our nether portal is which we'll talk about the nether portal in just one second but first let me show you the map real quick i love doing these maps okay and look what we got just to give you a little hint at some of those projects to come i might be most excited about those blue rectangles but anyways back to nether but first look oh my gosh look at this the whole city coming in place we run through man and we got buildings all to our sides we got the road right up the middle it's just like a city oh i love it i love it I love it. But again, now, speaking of nether portal, as we move back over into this, whoa, whoa, spot. First off, first, there are way too many villagers in here. Look at this. Look at this chaos. We're losing the entire village inside the nether. We're going to have to make another city in here. Honestly, new project idea. But yes, I know we just built out that fence. Got a new section in place. Expansions coming. New projects on the way. More buildings in the city to come. But as you'll see as we run down this tunnel and exit out this portal, as I said in the past, we got some redemption to do in the jungle 